Oh, man, I heard of... All right, David sends this. I heard about this. Uh, this is one of those where I feel weird. All right, let me make sure I don't like this tweet because it's like... Sometimes when I re retweet stuff for Get Your News On With Ron, which is our standard here, people think I'm, like, celebrating whatever the news is. And I, I'm not... I mean, I'm just saying this is the news and this is what we're talking about. So sometimes I have to be careful. Like, like I've already made sure I don't like the tweets when people send me news articles because there are times, like, I would like the tweets because I, you know, that was just how I did it because you were sending me news. I wasn't liking the news itself. I was liking the fact that you were participating in the show and people that didn't know about the show and didn't understand that would, like, you know, get mad at me for it. And I had one guy, and I, I explained to him, what it was and and then i just was like look i'm not gonna like oh god and this this hartford Corrent, they have a pop up a minute god damn it all right so here's what happened man shouts hail hitler hail trump and does the nazi salute uh during the baltimore performance of fiddler on the roof uh wow a man shouting a pro-nazi and pro-trump salute during a performance of fiddler on the roof in baltimore has reignited discussions of anti-semitism amid increases in hate crimes in Maryland and nationwide. Audience member Rich Shear said the outburst during intermission at the Hippodrome Theater on Wednesday prompted fears uh, prompted fears that it was the beginning of a shooting. The man who had been seated in the balcony began shouting, Hell Hitler, Hell Trump. Immediately after that, people started running. Um, and a lot of people thought he was going to start shooting. Wow. Wow. Police were called, and security escorted the man out a few minutes later. But Sheer49 said it was hard to focus on the play after that. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, of course, Fiddler on the Roof tells the story of a Jewish family as it faces persecution in Russia. It's really sad that this is happening now in our society. You, you know, it's one of those things. Trump is a Nazi symbol. I mean, he just is. He couldn't denounce Nazis. He couldn't do it. He, there, there were good people on both sides, according to Donald Trump. So if you are a Nazi, you got your guy in the White House. You just do. Um, and like I always say, I was like, this is what lesser of two evilisms gets you. Because, yeah, when you keep moving to the right and you keep moving to the right, well, we're at the point now where we got Nazi sympathizer. So if we keep going this incremental route, what's, is it going to get to the point where it's Nazi? Are we going to get to that point? And, you know, when I bring that up on more centrist shows, people look at me like I'm being extreme and ridiculous. Meanwhile, in Illinois, a Nazi was running for office. An open Nazi ran for freaking office in Illinois. So, no, it's not an embellishment. It's happening. It's real. I mean, what's it going to take? Is it going to take to the point where a Democrat is a Nazi sympathizer or a Republican is an actual Nazi? And no, I'm not. We're already slowly getting to that point. And that's what incrementalism gets you. But anyway, yeah, that, that's a shame. And, you know, in Germany, if you do a salute like that, you automatically get arrested. You uh, That is one of those things that is just exempt from any type of free speech or freedom of assembly or anything like that. In Germany, if you do that, you are arrested instantly. And considering history, I, I don't think that's unfair. I think that's very fair. And, uh, yeah. I wouldn't be opposed to something like that here, where it's like, yeah, something like that, if you do that. I mean, that, that's the equivalent. What that guy did is the equivalent of yelling fire in a crowded theater. I think that's the equivalent. So I, I think the argument could be made that that was an insight to violence and that's not protected under free speech law. Also, it was in a crowded theater. So yeah, I, I think that this guy does not have a free speech lay to stand on in this, for instance. You know, there are certain forms of speech that are not protected by our free speech laws. An insight to violence is one. Uh, yelling fire in a crowded theater is another. Um... I think the case could be made for both of those. Uh, so anyway, that guy sounds like a true jerk. And it's a shame that he feels empowered right now. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on. 
the day. Get your news on with Rhonda to wanna know what's going on. We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your news.